Well, hey everyone, how's it going? I have two 15,000 watt inverters here. These are both 15,000 watts. This one here is 48 volts. This one here is 24 volts. So, I get asked on occasion, what are the differences between the two that are on the sale, uh, let's say on Amazon or the PowerJack website? And can I upgrade a 24 volt inverter to a 48 volt inverter? Well, first of all, I'll answer the first question. The difference between the two is simply the input voltage. Now, with a 24 volt inverter, you're going to get more heat because you are taking 24 volts DC in and you're stepping it up to 240 volts. 120 volts depending on if you use both of the output legs it is a split phase inverter so essentially what happens is the input 24 volts goes through these two main boards here these main boards here convert the 24 volts dc to 18 volts ac so you've got the uh the 24 volts dc that'll come in to this side here as well as the ground here and then it will be output to the transformer on this side here as 18 volts AC the transformer then steps that 18 volts all the way up to 120 volts or 240 volts this particular inverter is not a new 2018 model so it does not have the adjustable voltage output that this inverter has here this is a new 2018 okay so you're generating more heat that's a step that's quite a bit of a step up um, you know 10 times at 240 volts actually 18 volts it's a little bit more than 10 times so you're gonna generate more heat obviously there's 24 volt fans here now the 24 volt version here and I'll explain the difference later has a 12 volt fan here. This is a three wire 12 volt fan that is powered by the CPU board. This is the emergency fan. This is the one that uh, comes on only if the inverter is on and the temperature reads that it needs to come on. These two fans here are controlled by the manual fan switch. Okay. So that is in a nutshell a 24 volt inverter. Now, stepping over to the 48 volt inverter that we have here. This whole thing is all different. You cannot, without replacing all of the guts, the fans, everything in here has to be replaced. There is, there's very few interchangeable parts between the 24 volt and the 48 volt. The main one, right from the get-go, you got 48 volts in. Again, just as before, 48 volts DC coming in here actually gets converted to 36 to 38 volts approximately AC. That is then sent to the transformer. So this transformer here is a 36 to 38 volt input, 110, 240 out, up to actually about 248 volts approximately, because you can adjust the voltage, the output voltage. So, you cannot just change this. You cannot swap this transformer in to here because what's going to end up happening, I mean, you technically could. Let's just say that you could. But what's going to happen is this transformer here is going to see a huge increase in voltage because your main boards here, these are the main boards, the two uh, AC or, excuse me, DC to AC converters, are going to be sending 36 volts to this rather than 18. So you're doubling the voltage, which means you're going to get 400 volts or more out of this transformer. So that's obviously not going to work because you need 240 at best or at max. So that's just not possible. This transformer weighs about 15 to 20 pounds more than the 24 volt transformer. As far as the weight's concerned for the rest of the stuff, it's pretty much the same. 
So you'll notice that the 48 volt uh, inverter weighs about 20 pounds more overall versus the 24 volt inverter. Also, you have 48 volt fans. These fans run directly off of the battery bank. They are controlled, obviously, by the manual fan switch. You also have a two wire, which is different than the other one, which is a three wire. You have a two wire fan here that is also 48 volts because they tie it in to this here and it's actually activated by the CPU. So you got 48 volt fans in the back, 24 volt fans here, 12 volt fan here. And with the 48 volt inverter, oddly enough, and I haven't been able to figure this out, you get thicker wire. Now I had made the suggestion a while back that they use some thicker wire. They did on some of this stuff here. This is 10 gauge wire, whereas on this side here, you're getting 12. So this is 12, and this here is 10. So you are getting some slightly larger wire here. Uh, and you know what? It's actually the same output voltage as this one here. You can see how much smaller this wire is here. It's actually the same output voltage. So I'm not exactly sure why they decided to go with a larger wire for the larger transformer because it's actually, like I said, it's the same output voltage. This is 240 volts. 240 volts. Same output as far as watts, 15,000 watts, etc. So I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm thinking that maybe because this is a last year's model, they are going to all of this 10 gauge wire for all of the inverters all across the board and I just got last year's model here so that could be an improvement overall and then of course you got some cable management system which does not affect the inverter one bit or between the two here in fact they're using a new style with um, some uh, wire loom that's going to be going around rather than use this tape okay so you also have obviously a different main board. The CPU monitors voltage and so on with this entire board, it has to. So it knows when the battery voltage is low, low, high, output voltage is low, high, overload, you got an overload protection board here, et cetera, et cetera. It's completely different. These two are not interchangeable. So if you wanted to upgrade your 24 volt inverter, you would need to take out everything and i mean everything with the exception of a couple things like the block here that's back here you're gonna you could use the same wire i suppose but everything is going to be different so no you cannot there's no interchangeability in here with the exception of some few basic parts so if you are upgrading from 24 volts you've got a 24 volt solar system and battery bank and you want to upgrade to 48 volts you will need to get a new inverter it'll be way cheaper doing that than it is to try to source parts to build yourself a 48 volt inverter. You might as well just get a 48 volt inverter. Yes, the 48 volt inverter is more expensive, but the fans are more expensive. You got more copper here. This is more expensive. So there's obviously a price difference between the two. I highly recommend with an inverter this size, you go with 48 volts. Trust me, if you're going to be running your house on this thing, which that is the purpose behind these large ass inverters, they're not something you take camping and hook up to your camper and use. They are meant to hook up to your house. That is their purpose. They are a generator for your house, a big generator. So I highly recommend you go with a 48 volt inverter. I am going to be upgrading from a 24 volt to a 48 volt system. I have the panels, I have the charge controller, I just haven't got the inverter out there and switched the battery bank out. So I'm gonna do that personally because there's a huge reduction in heat and it's more efficient that way. You're converting 48 volts to 120 to 240 volts. So hopefully that answers your question. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I am more than willing to help. Hit me up on my Facebook. I will answer all of your questions. All right. Take care.